G'day guys, Mac with the Our Circle, and welcome to This Week in Last Chance to Buy. So, what's Forge World getting rid of today? Useful icons for the Space Wolves, Ultramarines, and Iron Hands. Well, that's a shame, but they all three of those legions have good decal sheets, so not a huge loss. I know everyone's not comfortable using decals or transfers, but eh, okay, I can live with that. Red Scorpions Mark IV Tactical Squad. Um, bit of a bummer. So, obviously you lose their specialist helmets and shoulder pads and bionic arm with the sword, that kind of thing. Um, the special chest plates that are Red Scorpion themed. Um, they all came in a bundle together with the Tactical Squad so you could build them, add them to your plastics, that kind of thing. Well, I guess they're going the way of the Dodo, so... Same with the Vanguard Veterans, they're going the way of the Dodo as well, so there's another unique kit for this chapter gone. Valthex, the Astral Cause Master of the Forge. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the only Tech Marine model made by both Forge World and Games Workshop, which actually has a conversion beamer. So there you go, the one model that represents it is now gone, so... All those studios that don't make conversion beamers, start making them, because Games Workshop can't sue you for a product they don't make. Uh, Commander Cullen, well, to be fair, um, I've always liked this model, but Commander Cullen in his Terminator armor, well, now he's a Dreadnought. So it's not really applicable to him, is it, now? Uh, what else? Dark Angels icons are gone. Well, they don't have any decal sheets at the moment, the Dark Angels. Uh, they don't have any etched brass at the moment, so this is literally all they had. Um, and they're not even allowed to have that, so... Um, yeah. Alright. Astral Claws, Marine Shoulder Pads. Oh, they don't have any decal sheets at the moment, so the Astral Claws are now gone. Uh, Salamander Terminator Shoulder Pads... They don't have any for 40k, and they technically have Fire Drake Terminators for 30k, but they're a Cataphracty Specialist unit. So you can't just put these shoulder pads on your Terminators in 40k anymore. Black Templars, they don't have a decal sheet either at the moment. I guess you could get away with the Imperial Fist 30k transfers. There's a lot of Templar iconography on them. But yeah, so Black Templars can go get stuffed. Uh, the Blood Angels Terminator shoulder pads, that's no big loss because they do have Terminator icons. Uh, and the Imperial slash Crimson Fist icons on the bottom right. Uh, again, they have transfers. Not the biggest loss, but it is kind of disappointing. Um, hmm. What do I make of all this? Well, this is more of that individuality and the unique units being stripped away, um, especially the conversion beam of this Tech Marine here, I've seen pop up in tons of armies, because once you remove the two shoulder pads, or basically just don't glue his arms on, he can suit pretty much any chapter or legion. Uh, Velthex is one of those really awesome models in that regard, and for anyone who wanted to run a Tech Marine with a conversion beamer, he was just the go-to miniature. Plus the Electro Whips and that, they kind of look cool anyway, and I saw a lot of people use them for conversions, so... That's probably the biggest loss today. Um, a lot of the Red Scorpion stuff going, also a shame. Um, the shoulder pads going, that's a shame. I'm using the word shame a lot, because what can I say at this point? They want to take parts out of production, but they don't want to replace them with something like a decal sheet, something really simple, a transfer sheet, that would fix a lot of the gripes they, they don't want to do. So now Astral Claws, they're gone. If you ever want to paint Astral Claws from now on, you want to paint this lovely silver and blue scheme, um, you're going to have to hand paint that icon, or you're going to go somewhere like Shapeways, Pop Goes the Monkey, go get some 3D printed ones. And you know, why doesn't Gaze Workshop just throw a bone to them? Say the 3D printers, alright, you can do it, but you've got to give us you know, X amount of percent of your sales as a commission for using our property. That would be fair, but that would be smart as well. You know, Games Workshop would get a win-win out of it. They they get to sell um, an icon they're not using to someone else who will use it and will sell it. Games Workshop doesn't have to stock it, and they make money out of it. That's a win-win situation. It would be great to see them um, license out the use of these shoulder pads to something like Pop Goes the Monkey, but oh well, they haven't. So, out of curiosity, I went and looked up the red 
uh, scorpions, just typed in red scorpions, and so you've got this force here. They've recently got a new commander model, or commander Cullen Dreadnought model, and uh, this command collection, which I'll open up in this new tab. So you can see it's a lovely little bundle. You get this Commander Cullen Leviathan Dreadnought. It looks really, really awesome. Um, some things I, I do dislike on it, but most of it I, I really love. I think the crod, crutch piece, I, I try to say crod plate, crutch, cod piece, crutch plate, uh, crod plate, <laughs> uh, is the one part I really don't like. I mean, apart from that, he's a pretty sexy model. And of course, both the uh, standard bearer and champion model here are fucking excellent as well. I, I really like them all, to be honest. In fact, I think you could probably make some cool Knights Errant or 30k conversions out of them with their uh, stylistic um, beaky Mark VI power armor. But that's just me. So you've got a range where you've just introduced two characters and a Dreadnought, and you're also taking away Commander Cullen's Terminator armor. You're taking away the shoulder pads, the torsos, the helmets, the vanguard veterans. Um, so if I was a betting man, I don't know that I would be... This Red Scorpion's Veterans of Badab on the left-hand side here, the 175 pound. I would be looking out for that to go in the next set of Last Chance to Buy, especially considering that most of the stuff in that kit is on Last Chance to Buy. So, my prediction for next week is that bundle will go. Another prediction for you, Severin Loth, who is the only Mark IV Librarian model available, um, him and his Honor Guard will go. It's a crazy prediction, but I think in, within the next month we'll see him go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give him a month. The doors will stay, because they're kind of new, and that's about it. Um, as I say, yeah, see, it just brings up generic Space Marine stuff when you type in red scorpions into the search panel. It's an interesting one, just while we're scrolling through. Um, the Land Speeder Tempest. How many Land Speeder Tempests do you reckon get sold? I'd be interested to find out what that number is. I don't reckon it'd be that many. Somehow, just somehow. But you know, shoulder pads, they're what they're what's really dragging Forge World down. Gotta get rid of those shoulder pads. Asterisk super heavy tank. I've yet to see one in the wild. Please let me know if you have one or you've uh, seen them in use. Just curious. Do 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 I know this is riveting stuff, but I'm sort of contemplating everything I see here. Land Raider Helios. How many Lamb Raider Helioses do you reckon they sell? I bring this up because I see a lot of stuff um, floating around that's last chance to buy, and I think to myself, there's plenty of stuff that sells less than this, so that can't be the metric they're using, can it? Like, there are models I look at and I'm like, I know there's pretty much none of those out there that it's got to hardly be selling any of. So how come that is still in production but other things aren't? And the Kestis of Salt Ram is uh, still out of production as well. I want to um, take this opportunity while I'm here just to quickly look at some of the legions for the heresy. Um, let's start with Emperor's Children. I'd say Emperor's Children, Death Guard, and Sons of Horus has been out the longest, so they're the ones I want to look at first. So... The Book 1 sculpt would be the Palatine Blades, and in Book 2 we've got the Phoenix Guard Terminators. So, where are they? Do they still exist? Palatine Blades. Okay, so the Palatine Blades are back in production. They were out of production for a little while there, so it's good to see them back. Where's the Phoenix Terminators? probably scroll past them and someone's just screaming at me in the chat running, go back and find them! They're there! Well, there you go. They are no longer available. Not temporarily out of stock, no longer available. That's interesting. See, the Kestis on their left is temporarily out of stock. It's been temporarily, temporarily out of stock for, what, a fucking year or two now? So I don't know what's happening with the Kestis. Uh, maybe they're designing a new one. 
Maybe it was just such a good looking flyer and the Space Wolf flyer that's made in Plastic 40k is so ugly, they're just trying to kill the Kestis for its beauty. That's that's the only logical conclusion here. So yeah, Phoenix Terminators, no longer in production, apparently. Um, yeah, that's, okay, that's strange. What else have we got? Let's look at uh, Sons of Horus, another book one faction. So I've got the feeling that with the age of these legions, their molds are probably coming to the end of their lives, and that could be why we're not seeing as many kits. So they've still got the Justerian, they've still got their helmets. Let's scroll right down, because the stuff... Yep, there we go, down the bottom. Reavers, so Sons of Horus Reavers are no longer available. Which of course means that the... Legion support card is no longer. So a lot of the stuff I suggested people go out and buy when they were building their legions are no longer available. Let's see if that's happened for anything else. Let's try Death Guard. They're another book one faction. Let's see if they've got anything out of production. No. Alright, so the Death Guard are good, but that's probably because people really like the Death Guard and all of their kits are so beautiful, they probably sell a ton of them. So that's good to know. Um, World Eaters. They're another book one force. So obviously, I'm just looking at these legions that have been around the longest, because if anything's going to sort of have models that aren't in production anymore, it'll be these guys. And yeah, no. Angron. Primark of the World Eaters temporarily out of stock. Huh. Well, they've sold enough Angrons. I have one. You know, it was the first Primark, and compared to what's come later, he's a little bit underwhelming, but I still really love it. It's still one of my favourite Primark models. I'm also a really big fan of Fulgrim, and having held it in the flesh, I think Fulgrim's another great Primark model. Some of them I'm very, eh, like Korax is one I'm really not a big fan of as a model. Let's see if anyone else is missing things. Let's try Salamanders. They were book two. I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying there will be having missing stuff. I just wanted to have a look to satisfy my own curiosity. No. And I think last one I'll look at, I'll look at Iron Hands. Again, relatively popular faction, so I don't imagine that they'll have anything missing. They should have all their units there. Gorgons, Medusa and Immortals, and Forge Father. Yeah, so, they, so they're good. What about... Let's try Mechanicum while we're here. Mechanicum, see if anything's gone out there. Because we know there's been a few sort of stealthy vanishing acts performed. So far, so good. All the big gribblies are there. Thalax Cohort. Mechanicum Thalax Cohort Bundle. I wonder what the difference is between these two. 80 pounds and 90 pounds. Change three sets of Mechanicum Thalax cohorts. And this one contains three sets of. Okay, so there you go, something bizarre. The exact same bundle, the exact same miniatures different photographs, but they're all armed with just 9 Thalax with 9 lightning guns. 80 pounds or 90 pounds? So, which would you pick, <laughs> consumer? Which would you pick? The 80 pound bundle or the 90 pound bundle? All exactly the same models, exact same war gear. I don't know what's going on there, guys. It's almost like someone doesn't have a fucking clue. No, so nothing's stealthily gone out of production lately that I can see. So that's a good sign. Hmm. Oh, I think that takes the this uh, the end, I should say, of this week's episode of uh, Last Chance to Buy. I hope you're all uh, eager and willing to spend your money with Forge World. Um, I, I know the Red Scorpions weren't the most popular of factions. I mean, they're just a chapter. 
um, probably only as popular as Raven Guard or White Scars or Iron Hands are in 40k, you know, the sort of, eh, you know, they're cool, but they've only got their sort of niche fans, but still, it's a shame to see those in the Astral Cores all bite the bullet. Uh, hopefully they're planning on doing something with that, maybe some nice new transfers would be good, um, but considering they can't even do transfers for the fucking Legions, when they're asked about it, they just ignore the perfectly valid question. So, I don't know. Not angry, just pointing out a few of my thoughts, guys. Um, please let me know yours. Have you seen Astrius tanks? Do you know people who have a heap of Tempest land speeders? You know, other things that are going out of uh, production unpopular? And I don't think they are. I, th I think there's some sort of other metric that they're, they're judging by. Because they're keeping things in production that I wouldn't be, and getting things out of production um, that I would be keeping in. So I'm, I'm really confused by it. Anyway, Mac of the Air Circle, thanks for watching, I'll see you all next time.